Hey, this is Miko. We're gonna take out the new uh, 2022 Infiniti QX50 for a test drive. First, wanted to show you the car, just how comfortable it is as far as the seats go. So right now, the front seat, I'll just show you. I'll set it comfortably for myself. So I'll probably drive. Yep, that's feels right. Now in this position, you still have a lot of room in the back. Still pretty comfortable. Uh, you can adjust the recliner here. So the same uh, control that folds the seat will allow, will allow you to control how, um, how it reclines back. Um, other than that, it's pretty comfortable in the back. Nothing to report. AC is available in the back. Uh, no controls for this configuration, but it's got AC out. Okay, take a look at the trunk size. Piece of trunk, seats fold down, extra storage, and that's pretty much it. Uh, let's get in, we'll take it out for a drive. So before we go, I'm just going to show uh, these cars, uh, pretty much standard, come with the uh, surround view for parking. So that's what you're seeing right now. You can change the view, it will show you different sides of the car. It stays on for a little bit when you go uh, and drive. So just a nice and easy system that allows you to park. A uh, pretty big benefit, um, especially knowing that right now with the shortages, a lot of manufacturers wouldn't even offer this. I know for experience that uh, with BMW, like on the Comparable X3, you cannot get this package at all. It's just not available. Uh, another thing that this car has pretty much standard, which is hard to get on other cars, is adaptive cruise control. And we're gonna try that once we get on the freeway. So we're going to test the acceleration and feel of the car. Uh, this is the four-cylinder turbocharged engine, so not the super powerful engine, but um, it gets decent mileage. I think it's still, it's got enough power and it's really responsible, responsive. And we're going to try different drive modes. Right now it's in comfort. What else do we have here? So you can see obviously navigation. Uh, this is the standard infinity controls, two displays, navigation display here, and the controls are here. Everything is uh, um, touch screen. Also you have this controller and uh, voice command. All the safety features are pretty much standard, such as lane, par uh, lane departure, blind spot detection, accident prevention, uh, rear um, alerts so when you back it up if you're about to hit something it can just actually pump pump the brakes for you uh, cross traffic alert so just the full set of pretty much everything that's available for um, luxury cars this car will have that uh, heated seats this one has cooled seats as well obviously automatic uh, AC Gonna lower it so that it doesn't get too loud and um, let's check this out panoramic moonroof nothing special but a nice thing to have so when you actually open it you can open the glass up to here otherwise it just stays there you go okay, okay so i guess that's as long as wide as it opens and close it down all right so the light should change in a second and we'll be off and i'm going to prepare set the cruise control so right now all the safety uh, systems are ready and we just need to activate the cruise control once we get a little bit of speed on it all right so first we'll test test the acceleration nice sound this is 60 miles an hour 
turn. Pedals the turn nicely. Easier on the freeway, but we should be able to try different modes. So, as you can see, there's economy, standard, sport, and personal. So, we're gonna leave the personal alone and try the sport right now. Very easy to drive, easy to accelerate. It gives you this excitement, it's got this nice engine note, uh, but it's really comfortable easy car to drive steering is okay not you know not perfect I'd say maybe a little loose but uh, not too bad and let's go back to comfort mode standard and let's try the cruise control all right so that's it right now the cruise control is on let's put it up to 80 miles an hour and let's reduce the distance so this is as close as we can set it. So you can actually see what's going on. As you saw, it's really easy, easy to activate. It's working right now. It's just following the car in front of us at the same speed, at the same distance. I set it at 80 miles an hour, but since everybody is going slower, this is what we have. So just to mess with the system, we're gonna change the lane behind a slower car. And very smoothly, my car, this car, slows down and just keeps going let's see, let's see what else we can test overall nice driving experience very um, very quiet feel a little bit of the wind noise you can hear the engine but it's not not loud at all Sport mode. So I'm gonna try to get in front of a couple of cars, put it in sport mode, and we'll see what happens. All right, what else do we have? Uh, this display you can play with it. A lot of information on the driver display in front of us. Tire pressure, fuel economy, compass, audio, warnings, engine oil, and the safety system. So you can pretty much scroll through everything that's going on with the car right, right on the driver information display. Okay, so we're in sport mode, the car is a little bit louder. And I'm gonna squeeze in and get to the off ramp, on ramp. Taking this turn a little aggressively just to get a feel for it. I'm going about 30 miles an hour. Uh, there's no body roll, so suspension is very. Um, I would say it's, it's adequate for this type of car. So you know, these cars they compete with BMWs and Mercedeses. So suspension is no complaints at all. All right, so let's try the acceleration again. I'm going to slow down a little bit. up to 6,000 rpm again the, the transmission is tuned nicely there's a really good difference in this board mode I mean I'm going 90 miles an hour right now and it's just really happy with acceleration and the feel of this car so enough of that before we get to Vancouver and now let's slow down and try the Cruise control again. So you saw I just 
pulled it once and that's it it's active at the speed i was going which was 64 miles an hour i'm going to pull this button up to accelerate and put it at 80. and um, the system is set in 80 but we're going at the speed of traffic which is about 60. Uh, the um, the steering is active as well you do have to keep at least one hand on the steering wheel and then it just steers for it so basically you know this is what you get you get a car a luxury car that you can actually get um, this is a little time sensitive okay so it's beeping right now it didn't feel my hands and it's kind of beeps to warn that I have to keep my hands on the steering wheel that's kind of annoying don't like that so right now the steering off the steering assistance went off now it's back on so not happy about that beeping probably can adjust it but not trying to off completely in the settings but it is what it is yeah but what i was saying is that um, right now with the shortages um, very hard to find nice cars in stock i know for experience that things like x3 bmw x3 is impossible to get i mean possible but you have to wait for it and pay premium uh, mercedes many dealers mark up their cars just insane amounts while we have at the moment we have five or six of these cars in stock brand new ready for delivery all right so we're coming on to the exit let's just see if we can test this thing a little bit more i'm not gonna do anything i'm still in the full self-driving mode on adaptive cruise control mode we're accelerating catching up with a truck in front of us and still i'm not uh, so right now the steering is gonna go off steering assistance and we're just following the truck so that was the sound of steering assistance going off but as you can see this is something you can really use in traffic as well Okay, so this is a good test. I'm not touching the brakes. Did not touch the brakes. Done, that's it. We're stopped. I'm still, I'm not even holding the brake right now. Just the car's in drive. I'm not holding the brake. The car holds itself. And uh, probably I'm thinking that once we turn, the cruise control will turn off. But right now it's still active. And I believe when... Yeah, so just touch the gas and that's all it takes okay it went off because we were turning but other than that as you can see the system works in traffic stops the car completely and i think that's enough for this video thanks for watching